Hi friends, it's Mrs. Schneider and I'm here to read April Foolishness to You it's by Teresa Bateman, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Wesco. Hmm. I wonder what the book is going to be about. You see all those characters? I wonder where the setting is. April Foolishness. Life on the farm keeps a gal on her toes. That's what Grandma thought as she flung on her clothes. She grinned for the grandkids, had come for a stay. And wouldn't you know it? She picked the right day. Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa, the cows have got loose. I think Big Brown Bessie just stepped on a goose. Look at that. Bessie stepped on that goose. The goose said, the cows are ouch. Oh my goodness, look at these geese. Look, they're flying everywhere. Imagine, said Grandpa, good gracious, alas. Then he poured some milk in a tall, frosty glass. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the chickens are out. They're squawking and squabbling and racing about. Imagine, said Grandpa, amazing, oh my, as he popped some eggs in the skillet to fry. Look at him cooking those eggs, yummy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the pigs broke the gate. Uh-oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. <gasps> Look at those pigs, oh my goodness. They're in the tomatoes, oh hurry, don't wait. Those are some ornery pigs, huh? Imagine, said Grandpa. I'm really quite shaken. He reached in the fridge and he got out the bacon. There's the bacon. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the goats are all freed. They're running around in a smelly stampede. <laughs> Look at that. And that goat has a sock stuck to his horn. Imagine, said Grandpa, it's really quite scary. Then he sliced the goat cheese that he bought from the dairy. Grandpa, oh Grandpa, the sheets are all gone. Imagine, said Grandpa, I hope things get better. He opened the closet and got out a sweater. Grandpa, oh, why won't you listen to me? The farm's going nuts. If you'd look, you would see. But Grandpa just grinned as he took out the bread, and he popped in some toast for his breakfast instead. <laughs> Grandpa's always making food, huh? It's making me hungry. Then Grandma appeared. What's a hula baloo? Who's causing this noise, the grandkids or you? It's nothing, said Grandpa. I'll ignore them, I say. They're trying to trick me. It's April Fool's Day. But honey, said Grandma, you'll find to your sorrow. It's not April Fool's today, Day today, but it's tomorrow. Uh-oh. Then Grandpa turned red and he gave out a roar. He sped through the kitchen and dashed through the door. Grandma just smiled as she pulled up a stool. Uh-oh, I wonder what she did. She nibbled his toast and she called. What do you think she called? April Fool! She tricked Grandpa, huh? The animals are all okay. The end. Can you guess which classroom I'm in? Hmm. If you guess Miss Betnagle's classroom, you're right. I'll see you later, friends.